Hello there. I've now finished every expert map on Double Stick and recorded all of them that I thought would be interesting enough for videos. So now it's time for expert tight side. But first, petting all the cats is more important. Let's go. <laughs> we Let's go. <laughs> These transitions are great. <laughs> No, uh, not first try. <laughs> okay, you like third try? Okay, not hard. <laughs> okay, here I know there's like a skip, something like this. Yeah, that's like that, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> it feels cheesy. I would do it in a golden run if I went through this golden, but not on like a first time on the controls. Why can I not do a reverse wave dash into ultra right now? <laughs> I keep failing there for some reason. <laughs> and then on that one as well. <laughs> I can do them easily at a standstill. Every single time I dash right. <laughs> How? I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, I finally got past that, this part. Wait, I could have supered, I think. What? That was definitely lag. <laughs> that sounds like an excuse, but I'm pretty sure that was lag. <laughs> I thought I had stopped having problems with dashing in the wrong directions, but apparently not when it comes to these reverse wave dash ultras. Wait, can I do like a downright dash, then an extended hyper and downright dash from there? I think that would work. No! Again! This map has already taken me longer than like 60% of expert maps. <laughs> and again, failed it. I think this is like the first actual big consistency check that <laughs> is really challenging my skills with double stick. Because I'm having so many problems with dashing in the wrong direction in like many places and dying on even one of those makes me not pass of course. And it's making this take so long.
Yes, finally! Finally I can do other stuff. A change in direction. How am I successfully getting the wave dash and then doing a left dash <laughs> multiple times in a row and did that mistake? I don't understand why. Okay, I need to be a little bit slower, I think. No, I didn't get the last one boost. <laughs> a little bit too slow. Okay, there. Yes. Overgrown Lin. This flag is great. <laughs> I like those ultras out of bounces. Yay! Next checkpoint, I think? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, the worst flag in Expert Art Side. <laughs> I think those double block boosts when you let go of grab and then dash are pretty easy, like this. Because I just swing it from right to left. And in the middle, it lets go of grab before dashing. Oh, that was close to the bottom and <laughs> the last dash. Uh, subway Neon. Oh yeah, this map has neutrals disabled for some reason. Pretty easy. <laughs> Don't get crushed. Yes, fluke that's pretty far. <laughs> ah, <laughs> didn't make it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, I should turn the stamina meter pack on. <laughs> Okay, done. So, metal in the bubble flag. No, <laughs> too late. What? Too high? <laughs> Thank you. 
Finally! <laughs> that took longer than it needed to. New. Music progression! There's like water or something leaking. Weird. Oh yeah. Accidental grab press mayhem. And I think I'll unbind the down grab key again. Okay, easy. Time travel, one of my two favorite expert maps. <laughs> easy flag again. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to go left. <laughs> Why? <laughs> ah, too far up. <laughs> it went over. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would have been cool if I saved that. Ah. No. <laughs> That was a mess. <laughs> Okay, that was a harder flag now, <laughs> but not that hard still. Look! <laughs> I don't really understand the hype around clockwork much. Like, it does flow well, but most of the movement is pretty plain. Like, I think the last room was really good, but other than that, I don't think it's very special. It's just a little bit hard to read because of everything moving around. I think I still read it like high B tier or something. Okay, that's a pretty easy flag. <laughs> but I just got back after like 24 hours of not playing and I was dashing in the wrong directions all over the place. So it probably took a little longer than it had to. <laughs> floating point time. I like floating points. And the berries in it were fun to find. I did not get all the berries in floating points from my first time playing through it. I only got one out of five. But then on the second time, it was fun to be more thorough. Okay, after that I just right dash. And yeah, wall bounce, fast fall. Wall bounce on the right, fast fall again. Yeah, right dash, wave dash, left dash, jump on that. Reverse wave dash and just down left dash to the end. 
I should just wait to fall down a bit after the first stop dash, so I don't go too high. Okay, I didn't fast fall enough, or maybe I didn't wall bounce high enough. No, <laughs> that was far though. No, <laughs> a little bit further. <laughs> Yes, finally! <laughs> oh yeah, this part. I found out that there is a secret here. <laughs> Bouncing in the same rhythm. It's not even in the rhythm of the music, I think. <laughs> Out of rhythm. And why is there a red neutral face staring at me <laughs> there's like one of those two black screens is just <laughs> a blank face well next checkpoint music regression dudes in test tubes is this like lore or something <laughs> it would be kind of cool if this fits into like Lore of experts are inside. <laughs> but mm, I have no idea if it does or not. <laughs> Could it be like other people who are like trapped in the pillars of creation? <laughs> I don't know, the experts outside lore was so vague and I don't understand it fully. <laughs> Just throwing words out there. <laughs> Double buck boost. Ooh, Vinculum. Okay, not that hard. That trick. I can do it. Precise upright jump strike again. Like, it's, it feels like it's more precise when you have to do it out of already grabbing. Do you actually have to? You should test it out. Can you even go back to test? <laughs> no, you can't. Not pressing grab beforehand. Maybe it'll work. Okay, I'm going to try it a few more times in case I just did it badly. Yeah, I think I just throw it too early. I need to go from right to upright precisely. <laughs> oh, I threw it. Yeah, that's not really savable. <laughs> I've seen from Paradash's expert outside golden video that at the end you don't need to dream hyper. You can just fall out of the dream block and it'll work. So that should help. I need to make sure I press crouch dash before jumping. <laughs> I think that's my main problem that I'm jumping too early. Also, I think it's helping for me to press my second jump button by pressing the right stick instead of pressing it upward like this. What? I threw it again? Did I like throw it too far left so it let go of grab? Maybe? You should be more careful with Pressing just barely down left. Wait. Oh yeah. I think, yeah, I still had <laughs> grab downward, not binded from golden alleyway. <laughs> I forgot because it was a while ago. It was over a day ago for me, but of course in the video it's very little time. <laughs> It's getting stuck up there multiple times. You should just go higher. Oh, 
Well, at least I finally got past that dream smuggle section for the first time. Yeah, I think I'm pressing too far down left, so I'm pressing dash and grab at the same time. Now that I rebinded the downward grab, that's a problem. I think I'm doing it again there. Not getting a very high elevator because of it. Again, I need to just press straight left. Yes! Okay, did it. <laughs> and that ending strat worked. And Stormrunner next. Good map. Okay, I need to practice the reverse wave dash ultra. Wait, it might be making a big difference that I have not done this chapter deathless. Because I did expert rainbow and that made expert levels easier. But now this map is taking long, because I haven't done it. <laughs> it's a lot harder than the Expert Silvers, of course. But that would probably explain why I have two hours already. Okay, how does that section work? I remember Parrot Dash like not hitting the spring, just climb jumping there. But do you like have to reach that then? Like do you have to reach that other falling block then or can you just go? Honestly it kinda looks like you can just go without hitting the second one. Oh you get a jelly from there. You just Cloud super, get a jelly and float to the end, okay. Not bad, I can do it. Oh no, I lost the jelly, it's falling down. Not hitting the spring, need to be careful about that. I was initially going to record a video of Stormrunner, but it was just too easy and not unique enough. So I didn't. <laughs> I basically speed run through it. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> okay, second time here. Easy. <laughs> Ooh. Skyline Usurper, this map is so good. <laughs> it has definitely grown on me. <laughs> I get to do the fun down left movement again, where I press grab and then press dash while grabbing. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I want to get there. Yes. Spike. Yes. Useless spike area. Amazing. There's just nothing else. <laughs> also, the propellers are frozen. That might be because of floating point imprecision. Okay, I just need to be faster. That's just <laughs> the whole challenge of this map for new players. You need to be faster. That was a great attempt. <laughs> oh, that was so close. 
I just kind of forgot and was too slow because of that. Is there something up there? Probably not. <laughs> What if you first step here? Yeah, you can go back down. <laughs> Need to be quicker so they don't fall. No, so close. You need to press dash a little bit later there. <laughs> Okay, a crouch dash button does activate this, but I don't want to use that unless I have to, which I won't have to. I want to see the stick spin instead. <laughs> I went too high this time. I'm still bad at pipers. <laughs> Finally, yes! Polaris! The last one I made a video on. So you throw the ball to the right, hyper upright dash, then throw again below the double crystal, fall down to the springs, up dash to grab the jelly that I threw here earlier, throw it into the coin, and then here you supposed to do a right dash and reverse wave dash but I know you can do a right dash up dash then step on it and do a hyper from a standstill but I'm not sure if that's easier on double stick I'll I can try both <laughs> maybe I'll do the up dash and instant hyper strat but with the demo button that would probably be most consistent but I need to throw the ball a little bit earlier so it doesn't hit the wall. And I need to do the demo before the drum. <laughs> Keep having that problem. Oh, I dashed and spent it. <laughs> I can probably reach it without dashing. Why didn't I dash again? I need to not dash. I need to stop dashing. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I should have jumped later. I'll do that next time. What? Maybe I should just neutral wall bounce, not press a direction there. Okay, just... I need to not press down left, but straight to left. <laughs> Same problem again. And, like, I have two reoccurring problems. When I want to hyper from a standstill, I press jump before the demo button. And also, second problem, pressing down left instead of left when I just need to dash without grabbing. <laughs> Ooh. Now I shouldn't hold upright. <laughs> no! Why? I just want to dash down right, not to the right. What? Okay, finally, but 
I saw that there was a secret here and I hope there's a spawn point. I don't know what's inside here. Yay, <laughs> cuts there in a bucket. That's great. Okay, it wasn't hard to get back. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to grouch spam. I have to grouch spam. As I said in the Polaris video, I have to crouch spam every time I see a meme. And on the keyboard even faster. Wait. There. Yeah, I'm normally a keyboard player. What about here? Nothing. Portal? Yes. Oh, I went straight into the next room. Okay. So, downside. Flag 10. There was a bug here once that going down here always reset the effects. Because normally there is less ground friction and shorter dash and no grabbing. Like going down there, we said it. <laughs> and I made an issue report on it and it got fixed because of that. <laughs> oh, and wait, I think there was one last troll there. Like going down into that gap, dropped you down or something. I think. Like that gap at the end. I think I remember going down there and being dropped all the way down. On my first time playing this. Ooh. Okay. And easy. <laughs> Your previous downside experience made that pretty easy. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Fortress fall. And I think I need to climb jump on this first one. After I do the ultra. And then neutral of the second one after making it fall. Yep. And the end is pretty easy, I think. But also, these expert hard side backgrounds are really good. They look so epic. Okay, yeah, um, I felt like this flag is giving me some extra lag for some reason, like extra input latency, but using Celeste has simplified graphics with backdrop disabled seems to fix it. Yeah, this is much more responsive. I'm <laughs> just sorry that it looks kind of bad. Also, I think this makes it not valid for some kind of leaderboards, but I don't really care. Like, in spirit, I will have done this. And that's what matters to me. Actually, I can probably make this look a little bit better still. Does that still fix it? Yeah, I think it's still just as responsive, but it looks a bit better. Alright, not that hard. <laughs> Next flag, okay, is it any better now? Or is it still unresponsive? I feel like it's still unresponsive and laggy. Yeah, looks like I'll keep it like this. Yeah, my computer isn't that powerful, so... <laughs> Okay, this is going to be hard. 
<laughs> I was just complimenting the expert hard side backgrounds, but <laughs> then I turned them off because of lag. Oh. Yeah, so if I do a jump that I want to go through, I should swing all the way upward. And if I don't want to go through, I just swing to upright and back. Okay. Got that far. And after I get that, I think I will, like, when I press grab, both me and the world will freeze. So, once I get it, I need to let go of grab and dash left until I land on the block, and then freeze until I'm down. Yes. And then I need to do a hyper without grabbing and then grab on the block and then start jumping without grabbing until the end yeah that's going to be hard okay and, and I need to Press jump again pretty quickly. And wasn't it that I just hold jump until the end and the upright dash to the end platform? Yeah. I saw that parrot did a cheese by stepping on the small step there, but I'm not going to do that. I don't have the precision. <laughs> Why do I not get my dash back? Alright. Another day, new chances to fail at the <laughs> Lunar Pagoda flag. I think taking it slow like that is actually working pretty well. I should probably jump off of the right of the pool there. The neutral without jumping off of the pool is kind of tight. Yep, still laggy. I still have no idea why I'm not getting my dash back there so often. So when I go on top of this dash block I hold right then when I jump I need to switch it quickly to straight up what how do I not have two dashes what I have no idea Alright, second time here. No, I didn't grab in time. No, <laughs> that was so janky. <laughs> oh my god, that was a lot of lag. <laughs> This room is really good at bringing out all the worst downsides of this control scheme. <laughs> Third time. Oh, I forgot what to do. Alright. I'm getting more and more consistent. Which is good. Okay, grab it. Yes. Second time here. A 
Okay, and I need to be relatively fast there. So grab and then press quickly straight up. <laughs> Close to the spikes. Nope. Wait, it, wait for it to go back down. No! What even happened? Did I hit the wall first? I think I hit the wall so I lost my speed. Probably. And then I pressed too far left when I wanted to jump so I also dashed at that incorrect time. I'm getting better at that wall climb thing. <laughs> there. I grab. I almost forgot again. No. No. <laughs> I'm being so unlucky there. Or mostly skill issue. <laughs> Why am I not getting my dash back again? Oh, that was close to the ceiling. No, I... Nope. What? It was like a pixel under it. <laughs> okay, uh, now I know, so I won't die like that again. Like, normally it would just correct you to the side, but there's the waterfall in the way. Why do I not get my dash back? It feels like it's complete RNG and I'm getting the worst RNG ever. Okay, I dashed again. Yes! Finally! <laughs> the worst flag! Done! Yes! Okay, now I can... Disable simplified graphics. It's like still laggy. A bunch of input lag. So I'll probably still have to keep it off. Hopefully the second custom background will not lag as much. Okay, I won't go up there myself. Okay. Let's go. That's good progress. Yes! Okay. <laughs> Hard side actually challenging me. <laughs> Nero, hello. And I'm guessing it's still laggy if I enable the background. Yeah, definitely. Wait, but I can enable the background tiles. I don't know why I didn't have that before. Yeah, like that. Barely any difference.
Easy flagon. Wait, was this where the other background came on? Or not yet? Okay, now. We. Yeah, this. No, it's still laggy. Let me try disabling like everything except for backdrop. No, I think it's literally just a backdrop that is laggy. That's unfortunate. <laughs> But I can't play with that lag. Yeah, disable only the backdrop and I have no lag. Alright, got enough Katara time. I don't really like Garden of Katara. The decoration makes it kind of hard to see sometimes. And the movement is all like really plain. At least like 90% of the time. It's pretty much just reverse wave dashes. Sometimes normal wave dashes, sometimes ultras. And wall bounces, of course, and that's pretty much it. And that kind of gameplay just isn't interesting to me anymore. <laughs> I like gimmicks more. <laughs> Garden of Kotara has these two gimmicks, but they're like very minor gimmicks. Like one gives you some extra speed, like okay, fine. And one is basically a spring. I think I understand why some people like it, but it's not for me. Yes! Okay, I don't need to do that anymore. <laughs> Plasma reactor, good map. After that super I should neutral jump. Alright, and what was after that? Ultra, up dash, left dash, then wave dash, bunny hop. Why is there a random double crystal there? I don't see what it could be used for. <laughs> like maybe a skip somewhere here, but that seems hard. Okay, so after the wave dash, bunny hop, just grab on each of these, jump down, and super again, ultra, Wave dash ultra and the end I think. Yep. Let's go. Progress. It's just interesting and unfortunate that I don't get any lag with this background when I'm just playing normally, but I get a bunch of input lag when recording. Hopefully it's not a problem anywhere else. Oh, I missed the ultra. No, that was so close. 
What? <laughs> I got a double block boost? <laughs> That's cool. But too much speed. There, yes. This time didn't dash too early. Ah. Okay, there. Crumplex. Oh yeah, I think the bino was up there. Honestly, cool to have the bino as a secret like this. Wait, I feel like I'm not having the same lag anymore. Oh yeah, I need to double block boost. Okay, don't jump yourself. I should look ahead. So you automatically jump, then you hit the spring, up left dash, and ultra wall bounce, down right dash. Never mind, I think the background does add extra lag still. It's a little bit smoother. No, I could have just waited there. Exactly after where was it? I didn't want to like remember where I could wait. Was it immediately after the first reverse wave dash ultra? After the corner boost ultra, yeah. After the corner boost ultra, just wait. Up dash a couple times to prepare. <laughs> Mentally for this last move. Chromatic Complex is also a really good map. I think it's in like my top five for experts. No. Okay, I should do more up dashes to just try to get the actual optimal height for it. I keep not reversing, I just need to move the right... I just need to move the left stick faster. No! So close! Again... I don't mind replaying this though. It's a fun room. Come on! Finally! <laughs> I was starting to get like pretty much back to back attempts to there. Psychokinetic time! The other one of my two favorite maps in Experts Lobby. <laughs> Duper? Yeah, I'm lagging again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I need to remember to just jump. And it was a corner boost at the end, right? Yeah. Okay, actual flag now. So, ultra, down right, down left. Forward, forward, forward. No, just forward twice. Psychokinetic was not particularly difficult with double stick, I think. <laughs> Slow entry. There, I think. No, what? <laughs> I didn't make it. That's funny. Wait, I don't think I'm lagging much right now. 
And this is also pretty easy. <laughs> yes. There, okay. <laughs> now I did it. So that's expert done. <laughs> expert lobby done on double stick. <laughs> now I can move on to Grandmaster. And I am going to do that. It's fine. Yes. I got this on my first time as well. <laughs> I have satisfied my explorative nature. Yeah, but this is good calm music. I like it. Okay, are there more secrets? I don't remember. <laughs> Was this the intended path? Oh. You can't walk here. Unplayable mod. Ah. I must try my best to find every secret. Okay, I'll just go in now. There doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, yeah, I'm one of the test two people there. <laughs> Ooh, why is that like that? Is that the ending in the next section of this? Oh, <laughs> funny camera. Oh, I almost went into it. Yeah, that w that's the ending of my is part of it. Wait, so what's like the meaning of this? It seems like we're taking one real looking section and then converting it to a weird place like this. Mm, I don't know what that means. Because I know the lore of this is like Madeline dying because of reaching the pillars of creation or something. <laughs> because that's the name of the heart. Okay, <laughs> I'm going. Oh yeah, this abyss part. Something up there? No. <laughs> Okay, Pillars of Creation... Are there any secrets? I don't know if I checked this before. Oh yeah, you can go back down. Well, Heart Ultra. <laughs> 5 hours 12 minutes. My first time took 7 hours, so this was still a little bit less. <laughs> less by a good amount. That shows how much I've improved since Strawberry Jam released. That I can beat it faster with worse controls. It might also just be showing that I've played this before. <laughs> and credits. Okay, so now I'm going to have to edit this <laughs> by far the most video material that I've had <laughs> for a single video. And after that, it's Grandmaster time. I don't know how far I'm going to go, but I think there is the potential of <laughs> like beating all of Grandmaster. But I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> It's possible, though. Thanks for making Strawberry Jam. 